coming over to play. Growing a little every day. Here he comes with all his friends. They've got stories, got time to spend with you. Hey, it's Franklin. Come in your house. Hey, it's Franklin. Come into my house. Hey, it's Franklin. Franklin and Otter's visit. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He had lots of friends and they played lots of games. One day, a friend who had moved away came back to play. Hi, Franklin. You're really muddy. I know. What's the matter, son? Bear got a home run. You're unhappy about that? I'm unhappy because he hit my ball right into the pond. I tried to find it, but I couldn't. Oh, dear. The fish have another ball to play with. Yeah, and this one was like new. Well, son, I have some news that might cheer you up. What? Someone is coming here for a visit. A friend you haven't seen for a long time. Who? Otter. Otter? Coming here? That's right. Tomorrow morning. Yay! Yippee! Otter's coming! Otter's coming! I've got to find all the games we used to play. Wait, I should go and tell Bear. No, I'd better clean my room first. <laughs> that certainly cheered him up. Yes, I've never seen him hurry off to clean his room with a smile on his face. <laughs> to get out all the stuff Otter and I used to play with. Oh, good, the Act It Out game. Isn't that for little kids? We used to play it all the time. Otter loves it. Hey, your scrapbook. <laughs> Look at this. I remember swimming in that pool. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> There's Otter again, making us laugh. <laughs> she was always making us laugh. I hope she's still funny like that. She will be. It's going to be fun playing with her again. Yeah, I can't wait till tomorrow. It'll be just like it used to be. What are you doing, Franklin? Filling the swimming pool so Otter and I can play in it. <laughs> but you're big enough to swim at the pond now. I know, but we had lots of fun playing in this. Hi! <gasps> Remember me? Otter! Whoa! What are you doing? <laughs> the Elmwood Avenue handshake. What's that? My new friends in the city invented this. It's easy. Hold your hands up like this. Pat a cake, pat a cake, spin around twice. Elbow, elbow, shake and break the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Pat a cake, pat a cake, spin around twice. Whoa. Elbow, elbow. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You'll have to come to the city and practice it, Franklin. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So, what do you want to do? We've got all day. I want to do all the fun stuff we used to do together. That sounds great. This is the pool we used to play in all the time? Yeah. Hmm. Guess there was more room in here when I was little. Do you want to do something else now? Okay. Red card. Bow wow. A dog. Right. Hmm, <sighs> didn't this used to be more fun? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do you like skipping rope games? I do. I haven't done that before. Hmm. I like playing baseball. I don't know how. Hmm. Do you like roller skating? My friends and I roller skate everywhere. No one does that around here. It's too bumpy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You don't have any sidewalks. Otter! You're here! Bear! Hi, Bear. Will you 
play with us? Sure. Good. What do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. Play baseball? No. Think of something else. All right. How about going to the playground? Yeah. It was always one of my favorite places. Good. We'll go to the playground. And we can stop by my old house on the way. I want to see my old tire swing. They cut it down? It was my favorite tree. Where do they hang the tire swing now? They don't have any kids. They don't need a tire swing. <sighs> Let's go somewhere else. Do you wish you still lived here, Otter? Sometimes. <gasps> Like when I think about having one of Mr. Possum's strawberry sodas. Huh? What did they do to Mr. Possum's ice cream shop? Mr. Possum's son took it over a long time ago. Yeah, he just sells coffee now. Ugh. Hello, Franklin. Hello, Bear. Hi, Mrs. Heron. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Heron. Remember me? Well, of course I do. Hello, Weasel. Nice to see you, too. Weasel? She doesn't remember who I am. Maybe her glasses are just dirty. Let's keep going to the playground. You'll like it there. I know you will. We can go on the teeter-totter, or the swings, or the slide. Whatever you want to do. What are you looking for, Otter? The monkey bars. They took those down. Now we have four swings. You don't have to wait for your turn anymore, right, Bear? Yeah, and they go really high. Try one. Those are just like the ones at home. I wanted to climb and hang upside down. We don't have monkey bars where I live. Gee, nothing's the same around here. But what about Bear and me? Yeah, we're the same. But we don't have fun together the way we used to. You like playing different things now. Gee, Otter, don't be sad. I want your visit to be fun. Me too. Let's do something that you do with your friends in the city. That's right. Like skipping. I don't know how to do that, Franklin. Me neither. But maybe Otter could teach us how. Okay. And maybe you could teach me how to play baseball. Yeah. Sure. Good idea. Except my ball is at the bottom of the pond. <laughs> That's not a problem. Found another one! Wow, do you believe it? That's five. No one swims as well as you, Otter. <laughs> That's something that hasn't changed around here. That was closer. You almost hit it that time. What am I doing wrong? You should bend your knees a little. Bring your bat over your shoulder more. Lift your elbows up. Move your hands closer together. Go like this. Grr. Grr. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Throw it, Franklin. <laughs> wow! I hit it, I hit it! There it goes. Good one, Otter. Yeah. Almost got it. Bend your knees a little. Lift your elbows more. Pat a cake, pat a cake, spin around twice. Elbow, elbow, shake and break the ice. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> that looks like a fancy downtown handshake. You'll have to teach me that one. We know how to do cross arm skipping too. And I know how to hit a baseball. Well, it sounds like you've had a lot of fun together. Just like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad you came to visit us, Otter. Me too. Yeah, a lot of things have changed around here, but having good friends like you guys hasn't changed at all. Franklin's collection. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He had lots of toys and lots of games. But Franklin wanted a collection of special things. What would that collection be? <laughs> what day is it when Mr. Owl brings his hat collection to school? 
said today is Hatter Day. <laughs> I wish this was my collection. Which one is your favorite, Mr. Owl? Well, I would have to say my Owl Scout hat. <laughs> I pledge to fly straight and true and live by the rules of the forest. I've had this hat since I was nine years old. You've been collecting hats for a long time, Mr. Owl. I guess I have. I've always found them interesting. Whenever I go on a trip someplace, I like to find a different hat that I can add to my collection. I've got a postcard collection. I've got a coin collection that's worth a lot of money. I've got tin soldiers. I think for Monday morning's show and tell, we should all bring in our collections to share with the class. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, sure. This will be lucky. Oh, no. I don't have a collection. Why? I suppose you can borrow my stamp collection, Franklin. But shouldn't you show the class something that you like to collect? I haven't got time to collect anything, Dad. Show and tell is on Monday. That's enough time to collect something. Yeah, but I want to take something neat. Like this. You'll have to talk a little about stamp collecting. Do you know what you're going to say? Um, it's fun. Um, you can find stamps stuck to your mail. Uh, Why don't you start by telling the class you're a philatelist? I'm a turtle, Dad? <laughs> a philatelist is the name for someone who collects stamps. That's too hard to remember. I'll just pass the album around. Oh! Oops. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. But what am I going to show the class? Show them something that interests you. Then you'll have something to talk about. I can't think of what interests me. This is my collection. Buttons? Sure, I like them. I don't know about buttons, Mom. Well, they interest me. This button is from your first snow hat. This one came from great-great-grandpa Turtle's army uniform. Do you have any belly buttons in your collection? <laughs> <laughs> Dad! You see? A collection can be made up of simple, everyday things. Yeah! You're right! Thanks, Mom! Uh-uh-uh! You have to find your own collection, Franklin. What if it takes me all weekend? Then you'll have lots to talk about on Monday. <sighs> I wish I had a great collection like yours, Bear. Yeah, isn't it great? I've got a butterscotch candy, a sour orange, chocolate toffee, peppermint twist. What was this? Uh, cherry drop. Oh, there's another one. Can I have it? Sorry, Franklin. I need that one. How come? You're eating one. Yeah, but I had two cherry drops, and I don't want to have any doubles in my collection. I haven't even got one of something yet. What do you think I should collect, Bear? I don't know. Just pick something you like. Hmm. Just pick something. There. A dandelion. I've picked six different kinds. Six? That's almost a collection. How many more do I need? Hmm. Five. That many? Okay. Four. I'll pick two more. Shoo! Get out of here, bee. Go find your own flowers. Shoo! Going back there. Oh. Oh. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing down there, Bear? Nothing. Can you stand on your tiptoes? <clears throat> I got it. Pull, Bear. Uh, I am. <laughs> 
Thanks, Bear. Oh. I think fall is an easier time to collect leaves, Franklin. Not when you've only got until Monday. Hickory, poplar, maple, chestnut, and this oak leaf makes it nine. I think that's enough. Oh, good. Now all I have to do is tape them into my scrapbook. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Ah! My leaf collection! Well, there are hockey cards, baseball cards, and dinosaur cards. Who's collects postcards? I don't even have any cards like that. <sighs> I've run out of ideas, Franklin. Yeah, me too. I guess I don't have anything for show and tell. Franklin, wait! I've got something for you. It's a cherry drop. Thanks, Bear. I'll see you tomorrow, Franklin. Bye! Ouch! Dumb rocks. Hmm. I've never seen a rock like that before. Hey! There are lots of rocks around here. Maybe that could be my collection. Candies come in many different shapes and flavors. A red candy could be cherry flavored, or it could be strawberry, or raspberry, or even cinnamon. It's hard to tell until you've tasted it. Or he could just read the wrapper first. <laughs> Nicely displayed, Bear, and very colorful, too. I think your candy wrappers are a good example of how the collecting can be just as enjoyable as the collection. <laughs> Franklin, what do you have to share with us today? Yeah, show sure what. Let's see what you've got, Franklin. Yeah, what's in your bag? Rocks. A collection of rocks. That's all you've got? a bunch of rocks? All right, class. It's Franklin's turn. Tell us about your collection. <sighs> no, they're right. This isn't really a collection. Sure it is. But they're just rocks. I don't know what I can say about them. That's all right. Let's see what you've got here. Franklin, you've gathered some mineral specimens which are quite interesting. I see some feldspar and sandstone and quartz. This igneous rock was red hot when it oozed up through a crack in the Earth's crust millions of years ago. Neat! Like lava from a volcano. That's pretty neat. And here's a fossil that was formed during the time of the dinosaur. I didn't know that. I see. Yeah, me I too. Love dinosaurs. Me stuff. too. Yeah, I love Yes, like yes. Everyone, come on up. Have a look. Aw, uh, cool. Wow. Good one. They are neat. Gee, there's a lot to know about these rocks. <laughs> Indeed, there is. Learning about the things you collect makes it all the more interesting. Thanks, Mr. Owl. I've just started my new collection rocks. And it looks like you're off to a good start. <laughs>